Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to configure Alacrity. Uh, if you don't know what Alacrity is, it's basically a, a terminal, uh, some something like KT or URXVT or Xterm or something like that. But Alacrity, it's a, a GPU accelerated terminal. As you can see, if you go to the website, uh, alacrity.org, as you can see, you can read about it. Alacrity is a modern terminal emulator that comes with uh, sensible defaults, but allow for extensivity configure, extensive configuration. You can keep reading this. Okay, yeah, let me just... Uh, I'm in Void Linux, so uh, I have to use my package manager to install Alacrity. If you're using something like Windows or Mac, but you can, uh, if you're using uh, GNU slash Linux, you can just go to your distribution and find out about that. As you can see, I have. If I want to make this package, I'll just use install cmake, free type, dash val, and index. All these. And as you can see, we have FreeBSD, OpenBSD, uh, Solis, Nix, and Gen2. Okay, let me just use my package manager for this and just zoom a bit. Of course, it's xbps install dash s and let's do alacrity alacrity and you type click on enter and uh, as you can see uh, already installed alacrity. So let me just close this one and open alacrity. This is alacrity out of the box. As you can see, the font is small. If I list, as you can see, this stuff is, it's basically not, look, does not look uh, very, very nice, but we can customize that. The way to do it is just to uh, actually uh, uh, have a configuration file for Alacrity. Okay, in my case, I just do it in the dot config. Uh, let me just let me just zoom in a bit, and I cd into dot config. Okay, I'm going to make a directory called alacrity. Okay, uh, cd into that directory alacrity. Okay, and as you can see, I have nothing in there. Let me touch or create a file called alacrity.yaml by ml because alacrity this is the uh, uh, the configuration scheme for alacrity you just do it in a yaml file okay let's open that uh, file and use your editor okay
Okay, the way to do it. No, fucking hell. <laughs> and uh, the way to configure Alcat is just write uh, the YAML syntax, which is, I think it's in the documentation. Let's go to the documentation. There is a document catalog. Okay, I'll create documentation for list of futures uh, stuff. I think and there is an example file. You can copy it and paste it. Okay, as you can see, this is alacrity.yaml. Okay, you can copy this example and uh, select whatever you want and... Okay, but I'm not going to do that because I know what I want. Okay, I just wrote window and... Uh, uh, Click on enter and maybe I want uh, uh, Alacrity to have uh, transparency like ST here. As you can see, this is ST and this one is, let me just say this one. This is Alacrity as you can see. This is not transparent, but this one is transparent. Okay, so open that again. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do type opacity. Opacity and colon and let's do 0 0.5 for example you can go up if you want but uh, you can go down the way it's set up you have to go down to increase the opacity okay you just do uh, 0 0.4 and Okay, this is the end of this one. Let's do the font. Font and colon and new line and normal. normal. Colon and go and family is, you can choose any font you want. Let's use my uh, font which is terminus and style no style let's use regular regular yeah. okay okay this is normal you can select other ones for example bold what do you want this, uh, this bold font to do family you can select basically other font other fonts for uh, a bold font, but I just use Terminus. Uh, okay, and uh, for the style, just uh, bold. Okay, and you can do italic if you want, italic. And let's go down to family. And use terminus and style, which is let's see, italic. Okay, and let's do size. Size. And let's do 14, for example. Let's see how 14 is it. I'm going to do offset need to go. because the I need to go back because the YAML syntax is weird and if you add a space or something it's complain about that stuff I'm going to do zero and on the Y axis I'm going to do zero too okay this is it for this simple configuration let's say an exit okay let's quit alacrity close alacrity and open it again alacrity. okay as you can see alacrity we have transparency and let's zoom in a bit 
Okay, I made the font too small, so let's change that. Then uh, dot config yaml and let's change the font to and see 18 okay save and exit and let's close and reopen okay as you can see the font is changed all right let's zoom in a bit so we can see to uh, do or configure a theme for Alacrity, you can uh, find themes on Google or the Alacrity site, website. Okay, but I know how to do this theming thing. So we just, you need, uh, first of all, you need to install Alacrity dash themes. To do that, you just use npm. Make sure you have a npm, which is a node package manager. You just install sudo https install node.js. You install node.js. Of course, you use your package manager. Okay. And after doing this, you just do npm first of all before you do this you need to configure npm to to install stuff globally okay this is how you do it i'm going to put this link uh, this is just the documentation for npm okay uh, as you can see this uh, manual change npm default directory okay just create copy this let's do it this and go in and do it uh, because I already did this as you can see file exist I have to do this and do this one again okay and let's do this this one you need just to put it in your pro that profile or maybe your dot uh, bash RC okay and source it and let me show as you can see i have it in here this one okay okay let's uh, you, if you want to test this one you just um, do npm install dash dash g for global and you select whatever you want to install uh, in our case, I need to install npm install dash g and alacrity dash themes. Okay, and hit enter. As you can see, we if you succeed this one, that means uh, npm is working correctly. As you can see, okay. Uh, we already added 20 packages in 7 seconds uh, if I type now alacrity dash themes it should give me a list from which I can choose which themes as you can see uh, I can go down go 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 down and find the theme that you like and and hit enter okay let's find something that is okay let's go with let's go with this let's see go down go down you can what's this okay get some dark themes and some light themes colors you can find the color that you like for example, we have cat poaching. I think we have groove box, groove box also. Dark. Here's colors. Okay, okay. I 
let's just select this Dracula okay as you can see we have these things changed by list as you can see changed in the color here all right that's cool if I open now the uh, alacrity.yaml file I should see the the theme in there as you can see basically what we did is just to select the color and uh, uh, hit the uh, output that uh, color those parameters into this file that's all we did as you can see we have colors in here okay and as you can see the theme is Dracula yeah, you can change it and this file will change also okay let's change it like the dash themes and let's do one that it is obvious for example let's see okay let's do this one okay by list as you can see it's red or pink I don't know if I open that file again as you can see if I go down as you can see Bakersfield lost wood team whatever anyway this is how you configure and theme alacrity you can see more in this uh, configuration or alacrity.yaml file this is basically an example as you can see we did this window thing and where is the okay you can do this padding which is the the space just, this space in here and the space between this uh, the edge of the of the terminal and the the text with where this text will start in. okay this is just the X and the Y you can pretty much customize the legality that the way you want it you can limit how much history that you have in your alacrity as you can see we have font normal okay you can choose any font you want okay let's that's that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you in a future video Thank you.